Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? It's the Chicken and Rice Podcast. We're back. We're here with Brett today. We're here with Mr. Optimal. We have our host, Ben, and our co-host. Co-host, Ali Star, <laughs> the temporary, the temporary, not not always. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, the, uh, have you ever watched the... What do you, oh, you got to fade it out, bro. Ruben is better at this stuff. Fade it, fade it, fade it, fade it, and then click it. Yeah. No, nah, but uh, there's this one pod. There's two, like, hosts, but they the one dude says it's called uh, Stronger by Science. It's a really good one. They talk about, like, research and shit and, like, the science or whatever. He's, like, the not always no, but they, no, no, they, they, they <laughs> Every single episode is both of them, and then they're, like... It's your host. I think it's Eric Trexler. And then he's like, my uh, very temporary uh, guest fucking co-host, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, I forget his fucking name, but you get the point. But they do the pod like every yeah. single fucking time. They're just fucking with everybody. Yeah, it's fucking, it's funny. The temporary, not always permanent co-host, <laughs> Alistair Brimner. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, Brett yeah. went to church for the first time today. Yeah. How was your uh, experience, oh, no, Brett? Not the first time. I can't hear you. Oh no! Turn your mic on. Click it. Is that better? Talk. Yeah. Check. Well, check. Yeah. Oh. There you go. So not the first time, but the first time in a long time. Yes. Um, and I will say it was a different experience for me um, because, similar to Ali Star, I grew up in a very small southern town, and church was nothing like that. Baptist what, church. What we had today, what I experienced today, was nothing like the church that I grew up going to. I would say nothing like that. I mean, dude, even the way people dress is very, very different. Like, you go to a Southern Baptist church, bro, everybody's dressed in, like, collared suits. shirts and Some suits, are suits. And, yeah. It's, it's way different, bro. Women are, like, completely, I mean, it, you would think it was, like, the 1800s, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it was a different experience for sure. Licking the fucking the <laughs> sweat Relax, off the dog. <laughs> <laughs> you just called it sweat? That's what it like is. when your cut, what it cup is. sweats. Your cup sweats. Condensation. Sweat. You should know that, Mr. Optimal. Bro, obviously, but I'm from the South, bro. Your cup sweat. Yeah. Your cup sweat, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you sweat and my ball sweat. Busta, chill. Nah, but... Um, Busta rhymes. Would you say, what would you say? So it's, like, better than you imagine it to be? Uh, better than I imagine it to be? Um... In terms of like, I don't really know what I was expecting. I wasn't really you said going you going said into different. it. I wasn't. No, it definitely is. But like going into this, I had kind of a clear mind because you guys have kind of explained it to me. So I really didn't know what to expect. But I knew not to expect like a typical. Okay, you can drink it, bro. That's, that's I don't fucking, got no cooties. That's fucking and shit. tap water. No, I already drank it. You don't like it? That's tap water. It's from my house. That's tap water. It's from my sink. No filter. No filter. You like it? <laughs> Is it good? I'm dying. I think it's good water. <laughs> no, you can just taste the fucking metal in it. It's oh, the, yeah, probably the straw. The nah, bro. The metal straw, That's, that's bro. tap water. Yeah. I can taste it the second I drink it. Well, I like my water. Get your get the filter, bro. It actually will help with your health. The Brita. It's really worth it. Real talk. Like, real talk. Get the filter. Real talk. Worth it. I'll give you one of the filters if you, all you have to do is buy the attachment. The attachment's a little cheap. Yeah. I need that. Yeah, yeah. I just don't know if it'll attach to my damn. They, 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 there's yeah, three. Will. There's three to four different nozzles that go, and they fit all sinks. So you just have to fit the get the nozzle that fits your sink, and then put the thing on there. It's worth it though. It'll fit. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't even know what I was talking about. You're talking about how you had already we had already explained it to you, so you kind of right, knew. So what yeah, I, I kind of went in there like clear minded, I guess you could say, and because I didn't really know what to expect, so I went in there. Not expecting, I definitely expected it not to be like the church I was used to, to say the least. Yeah. But I went in there with, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I kind of went in there with no expectations. I was just like, all right, I'm just going to go and I'm going to see how it is. And it was it was great. It was awesome. So better than before the other church. Oh, 100%, bro. 100%. Yeah. I haven't been to church in like, I'm 23 now. Bro, it's probably been 15 plus years. It's a well, Shit. ten, ten. It's a lot. Yeah, I'm trying to think. The last time I went before we started going, I was going all my life up until, uh, like probably when I went to high school, maybe like middle school. It was like every every Sunday up until then. So I don't know what age that was, right. but because when I went to public school, it's when I stopped going. 
Completely different vibe though. Yeah, it was. It's nice today. I, was uh pretty solid. I have been to New Spring uh in high school before, just because uh, there's one in Merle's Inlet, and we would go sometimes. So that's how I knew to bring us there, just because I had experienced the. I've like, dude, I've I've always uh been a churchgoer, especially. When I wasn't strong in my faith, just because it's a part of the South, kind of too. You know what I mean? Like growing up, going to other friends' houses. If their family goes to church, you're going to church with them, right? If you stay over on a Saturday, you ain't got no choice on that. So it's just kind of like a part of it. Yeah. But New Spring is like the again I like because every since they started, their message has always been the same thing. But we don't want anything from you. We want something for you, and that's like the everyday relationship with God. That's why they start every single service with that, right? So that's why I like the place a lot. Yeah. It's super nice people as well. It's a very it feels very uh, uh, like welcoming. Yeah, it does. And that's why I think with like the the <laughs> extremist side of like Christianity and shit is almost mm-hmm. like it's what scares people like a lot of people away from it, I feel like. Whereas I feel like most people if you're just more like welcoming and shit like the Bro. it's only going to grow if that's if everybody was like that in Christianity, it would only grow. But there's, like, those people on social media that are like, oh, you said hell? You said hell, yeah? Well, oh, you're going to hell because you, you have, said hell. If you have extremist views in anything, you probably need to take a step back. Because you need to see things from all all perspectives, you know what I'm saying? At least, I mean, dude, like, okay, I don't want to get political at all. But, like, extremists, they're just... No, that's not the way to go. That's not, that's not a way you should think. Optimism. Yes. Well, dude, no, everybody's... It's okay to, f- like, have strong beliefs. I feel like, obviously, extremism is, like, a any and anything is bad. But, like, having strong beliefs, because somebody will take that and run with it and be like... Oh. But having strong beliefs is a good thing as long as you're able to hear out somebody else's perspective and have, like... Like, not get offended personally and feel like your beliefs are attacked just because they don't think what you think. Well, you know what I mean? Typically, from my experience, extremists are very closed-minded people, so they're not going to see. Yeah. It's a it's a personality thing. Right. I've been, I'm, I'm in an uh, exercise physiology or psychology class, and we're doing the, the big five, like, personality. You know, like, the five, like, personality trait things. One of them's, uh, I want to say it's openness. It's like who are you open to like are you cre- like if you're score high in openness you're very creative and like you're very optimistic and you're like more willing to like listen and like hear people out and shit and then if you score low in openness you're like more like pessimistic Self-centered. Yeah, yeah 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 and it, everything's about you and you don't care what well, anybody else has to say Remember that day we were talking in the gym you got a clip on Instagram sometimes you just need to shut the fuck up and you need to listen yeah. and stop talking you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Sometimes that's just how it's got to be. Yeah. You got to listen before you speak. That shit went crazy, too. Yeah. Well, I love you. It's facts, though. Also realizing that what you believe it doesn't... This pertains to anything. What you believe isn't any less true just because somebody doesn't believe what you believe. Absolutely. So, like, somebody who's very intelligent that has a certain view that gets really offended... This is you, Again, you can take this example for anyway. If you believe something and I make a post about it and then you comment, like, oh, no, this is wrong... Da, 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 da. And then I get really upset and start going on some fuck, like huge rampage. Then obviously I think that because you don't believe what I believe or challenge my beliefs, like I, that's insecurity, right? Same thing with religion. If I'm trying to like tell you about the word of God and you're like, respectfully, like I just don't really want to hear that right now. You know what I mean? Like if I go, Ugh, that's what turns people away, right? right? Instead of being like, hey, I completely respect that. Whenever you're ready, you let me know. And we'll continue this conversation. No. If you're ever ready. Right? And even if they're pessimistic to the point where they're like, well, I'm never going to be ready. Not responding to that. Right? And just being like, I feel that, you know? And then walking away and not realizing that that doesn't hurt your faith or make you like any, like, you know what I mean? It doesn't change what you believe. No. Well, bro, we live in a society today where... People literally think, if you don't think the way I do, you're wrong. I'm right. We can't be friends. We can't be acquaintances. We can't even be social with each other because you don't think the way I think. So I automatically have to not like you. And with, like, I feel like with religion, it's not like it's 
it's not like exercise science where like there's facts and then there's just shit that's like completely wrong. I feel like with religion, it's like it's whatever you believe. It's whatever. Yeah, exactly. It's your own belief in itself. It's like not like you can say what's right or wrong in like the like the Catholic Church or like if you're doing something right according to the fuck like the Bible or whatever. But like I think it's what you believe that's what matters. And then like what you say like the your relationship with like God and shit. Yeah. So like we all fuck up and shit, and then that's why you have that relationship so that he can constantly forgive you. Imago Dia. Is that how you pronounce it? Imago oh. Day. Imago, Imago Day. Something like that. Imago, Imago Day. Day. Imago, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imago Day. Yeah. And that's what, yeah. That was a, that was a good message today. I don't it know, was solid. basically like him just saying, like, no matter who the individual is, the, the Hindus in India, the No the matter Muslim, your past. Yeah, it's just everybody's a... Fuck. Image, image of bearer, God. Image of God. Everybody yeah, yeah. is the bearer of the image. A reflection of God. Of God. Image, be- image bearer. Ima- yeah, image image bearer. bearer. Image bearer of God. Yeah. Eight million. Eight billion. Million. Fucking. Million small numbers. Eight, eight, eight billion we, there's, images there's, of God. It's a lot of images. A lot of people, it's a lot of work. There's a lot of people, bro. That's all I'm saying. We're running out of space. It's all right. In heaven, there's unlimited space. He also touched on some, like, not, I wouldn't say topics, but he mentioned a few things that, like, you really would not hear in other churches. The point of a non-denominational church right. is to address, like, current things and, like, also strengthen your faith. Again, it's, like, there's a point in going. There's always a point in going. Like, to, I think if even if you're not extremely religious, go, just going there and... We'll say, like, one of the good things I got from my old pastor when I was younger, even when I wasn't, like, into this the way I am now, it's like, the Bible is just basic instructions before leaving earth. B-I-B-L-E. Right? Basic instructions before leaving earth. So I even I've if, heard that before. Yeah, so even if you don't have that strong a faith or you question some things about, like, Scripture, in general, it's really good basic instructions before you leave this earth. Be a good person, like... Don't commit adultery, like cheat on your wife and do bad things to people. Like it's really simple, but it's hard at the same time. No. Yeah. But that's what's to remind you, right? Like we're human. And also like to just try to live by these principles. So I think that even regardless if you're skeptical, like if you're watching this and you're like, Oh, they seem super religious, like I'm not into that. I don't really want to get into that. It's not me. Just go to hear the the message, like the positive message could really help you probably navigate through, through some like shitty scenarios that you're in you know what i mean i think because like in the <coughs> beginning they had the one girl talk about like she was debating if she wanted to get an abortion or have her baby and then she went to the went to the mass the one you call it literally like the sermon or yeah the sermon you can't tell that's a coincidence though for her to be thinking about that and then go to a sermon and hear a message about it's the exact same thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's wild. That's not a coincidence. Like, I don't think it was a coincidence that me and you were both struggling with, like, being happy. And the day we went, it was the joy sermon. Yeah. And it was, like, and then all the ones after that, even, too, like, the one dude talked about fucking social media. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? that's divine intervention, bro. That's what you call divine intervention. Because th- that's not, a that's not like, some random. I was going to ask, anything, like, resonate with you today at all? Um... The, the image barrier of God, just that that really, that's what I kind of took from today is just like no matter what you've done, no matter who you've associated with in the past, it doesn't matter. He forgives you and you're still image of God, a reflection of God. I think what I took from that too is that like I'd be low-key like mean and I want to be like more nice to like everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm. Most people that I I interact with, I'm very nice to. But I'm like, still gonna fuck with you. No, I'm not even saying like that, bro. I'm just saying like in general, like fucking. We had this. We were talking to this one girl on, on Xbox last night, and she sounded like very attractive. And then we got her Instagram, and she was not attractive. And then me and Logan are in the party, like talking. Shit. I'm like, wow. And then I'm thinking back at that, I'm like, why did I do that? And I prayed in church. I was like. <laughs> I you're also relax. You're also young, bro. Most on Xbox. Xbox is different. Xbox is different. Mm. Bro. <laughs> uh, 
Bro, if some of the party chats got leaked would, from uh, from PlayStation yeah, I'd and th- Xbox, I'd say it's different if you're in like game <laughs> chat. But regardless, like that's just it's all jokes. So it's funny. No, nah, it is. You got to think about. I just try to be. I'm gonna be more nice now. Well, just like words carry a lot, right? Yeah. That's why I like. Well, it also depends. I I say harsh shit to y'all because we're really close. I'm fucking with y'all, but I'm never like as. You see me interact with people like I do not act like I act with y'all around people you know that I'm not but close dude, with. I'm very like, dude, hey man, you know like, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, like. I almost like having like like talking to people more because it's almost like I could be in a really shit mood in the gym, and if someone comes up to me, it don't even have to be someone that's like, hey, I like your I like I fuck with your content. Like that's always a good like good ass feeling, but it don't even have to be that. Like that one dude I did my set. I don't know if you saw. I did a I did a set. The Chuck, Chuck, Chuck dude. Chuck, Big bro. You know Chuck? I fucking. I was like, my stomach hurt and everything. Like, I was like, dude, this is gonna, this leg day is gonna suck. I fucking. I hit that set. I pr'd, and then bro comes up to me. He's like, my my legs were hurting, like watching you do that set. And I was like, you could. I mean, I didn't put it in the clip, but like the entire rest of like I'm just I was cheesing like for fucking five minutes straight after that shit. Bro, Chuck's an OG. Yeah, he's you know cool. Chuck. Yeah, I love Chuck. Chuck's awesome. His wife. Um, just became cancer free, by the way. Hell yeah! So that's that's, awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Three, three, four years battling it. She's finally, finally doing good. So that's awesome. I ask about her every time I fucking see him, bro. Cause he's he's a really cool dude. He actually, um, I don't know if you know the um the cop is no 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 the gun store Cormac, beside um, uh, it's a noodle place beside Food Lion, right off of Seventeen. If you there's a CVS and a McDonald's. You turn down that. I forgot what avenue it is. But it's back there. He owns a gun store. And they have, like, this virtual reality um, gun simulating trainer thing that I want to go do. It's not, he said it's really fucking it's cool. It's by my house. Uh, no, 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 no. It's at 17. No, well, it's on. Dude, you know how long? 17 goes all the way up to fucking East Coast, bro. Well, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> in North Myrtle by me. Jesus Christ. No, I, I want to be more nice, though. No, Same thing with, with you. Why are you being mean to your mom, bro? That was fucked up. That was not nice. That's why I was like, bro, you're not being nice. Bro. That's not nice. You got to be nice. What'd you do to your mom? I didn't do shit. I didn't do shit, bro. She be giving me a hard time. She's I, a mom. So I, <laughs> so I give her a hard time back. I notice I do that with my mom, though. It's like, because I know she's not going to, like, yell at me or anything. It's probably the same with yours. Like, I know she's not going to yell at me no matter, like, what I say. So it's almost like. I, I find myself, like, projecting shit towards her, or if she's, like, talking to me, and I don't want to talk to her or something, like, I, I just almost project, like, everything terrible like, towards her. Yeah. No, yeah. Not even that I'm, like, talking, like, like, I'm being mean to her, it's just, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, all right, like, she'll call me, I'm, like, eh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, same, bro. And I'm, like, eh, you, you, I gotta go, I'm, work, I, I'm working, I'm But then I get off the phone, and I'm, all like, damn, that's my mom. All I said was, you being sensitive as hell. Huh? All I said was, you being sensitive as hell. Well, I don't even I don't even know. She looked like she was just like chilling. One day you're gonna wish your mom called you seven times in one day. One day very you true. are, bro. One day it's you're gonna true. miss those phone calls. I just uh Yeah, I need to be me and my mom have a rocky relationship. I feel I don't know. Just uh my mom cool. I love my mom and dad, my mom's cool. very cool. We just uh don't see eye to eye on something. Yeah, that's for sure. Especially with like shit I did, right? Yeah, my goal it's is also, to fucking. It's also hard for her to like go of that. You know what I mean? I would feel like yeah, some of the shit. So. I feel, but you wouldn't be who you are today if you didn't do all that stuff. Uh, we yeah, we always say this shit. Yeah, I used to it's regular. Yeah, you know. yeah, I gotta let go of this shit. That's what I got from it today. Like what the Chris said at the beginning of the thing is like pass it to pass, man. You, I feel like I hold on to it a little too much. You can't. But, dude, no matter who you are, no matter who, who you are, if you're human, you have did things in your past that you are not proud of. Uh, yeah, but... No matter the scale, bro. No matter the scale. Like, every human has done things that they are not proud of. It's very true. My goal... It's very, very true. I want to I wanna buy my dad a, a fucking truck and a... And a in the house, in the fucking. I want, I want my my parents to be like set in a pad. Yeah, like put them in a pad. 
Like, my mom's chilling right now because she just sold her house and she's got, like, hella bread now. But my dad's not chilling. I want my dad to be chilling. Because he be working hella. And he need to, like, relax. So I need him to, like, relax. I'm going I'm to get him paid when, yeah, I, he, when I'm up. He's 100K. Go retire. <laughs> the goal this year, I want 100K in my bank account. 100K. That was, that was one of your goals, right? That's going to be my goal this year. Surpassed that, right? No, I was closest last year, but... Well, you bought the, you bought the Riley, truck. Yeah, when me and Riley broke up, just taking on more bills and everything. Bro. But you definitely cleared that in a year, right? You just never has never had that oh, yeah. amount in your bank account. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I have. I might... Mm, no, probably not. Actually, you definitely no. clear me way more than that a year. It uh, depends. Depends? I have to do my books for this year. Last year, I, like, barely made it. Yeah, I know... But that was last year's my first year online coaching. Mm-hmm. Pretty was, good. Yeah. One year. That's I'm also great. pretty. I'm also pretty good at what I do. Like I've never had a complaint. Anybody that quits doesn't quit because of my results. They usually quit because they're fucking lazy. Mm-hmm. And I always, literally, every time try, someone tries to quit, I always try to set up a call with them to try to talk them out of that perspective. Not even for the fact of payments, but like not giving up type shit. Right. You know what I mean. I mean, that's what I mean, that's what coaching is at the end of the day. It's like you can give someone all the advice in the world, and if they don't fucking do what you tell them to do, like, they're not going to You have progress. to be coachable. You have to be coachable. And it's like if you're going to pay for a coach in the first place, you should be, like, willing, willing to take yeah, that. willing to fucking do what you need to do. But, well, fuck is Well, I now have four online clients. <laughs> four. It's that's really good. Up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm very proud of that, man. I, ju- I ran the uh, the two week challenge. Signed signed three of my people. I only had seven in there, but I got three of them. That's what's up. Nothing to scale to Alistair, but you, it, you it, tra- it, it's a work in progress. You charging five hundred dollars a month? No, bro, not oh, not, shit, not, not for the online. I was about to say no, shit. No, 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 not that's for what, online. That's not what, for online. That's what old girl told me. Who? I don't even want to say. Who's old girl? I think I know. You yeah, gotta say it now. Dude, nah, you know. Old girl. Don't. Come on, bro. Don't be stupid. Now, who is old girl? I'm I'm really lost here. All right. Let's just give move, me, move yeah. on. No, give me, give me Please context. stop. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> this old girl. Y'all bother me now. Yeah. It, it, you bothering me. <laughs> Bothered. Motherfuckers. Um, who the fuck is old girl? Yo, chill. For just, real. Just, just don't yeah. even. Just yeah, chill. Fast we'll talk it. about it later. So you charge five hundred though? No, all right. Not, in person, yes. Oh, I was about to say that's good. Yeah, in person, yes. a month. Fuck, a month? yeah. Hell yes. yes. In, in oh, person, you're call you're, you're costing me that. my time, my physical How many time. Times a week, three. I do more than five. Hmm. Bro, my thing is, I was charging. It was forty nine dollars a session. Well, and it was four hundred ninety dollars for ten sessions. So you are paying, if you get a 10 session package when I was training at my parents' gym, it was $490, or you could pay session by session for $65 an hour. Because I am not going to sit there and give you an hour of my time three days a week for you to dick me around for $20, $25 an hour. And they are prepaid packages, yes. Yeah, no, you pay up front. So, So that means if you miss two and we schedule something, I'm charging you. That's a session. So I'm saying I would go more than 500 though. For in person, I mean, it's kind of, that's kind of like I found, I found my groove there, you know. Inflation. I found my. I found that's my a groove fact. There. What is a? It's inflation, bro. How many weeks are there in a month? Four. Four, bro. That's what I'm saying. If you do three times a week, that's twelve sessions. Mm-hmm. I have eleven. I have twelve, thirteen clients right now in person. You're getting paid forty one dollars an hour. Yeah. But it's Whereas like, if they were to pay by the session, it'd be forty five. So he's only charging seven dollars less than what I was for, for for you know what I mean? But you could go more. I mean I could, but the thing about the South is, bro, people don't with inflation, people people don't cut going out to eat and wine out of their <laughs> spending when shit gets hard here. The first thing that people cut here is like my personal trainer. It really is, bro. Shit like that. They you know what I'm drop saying? you like a fucking hot potato, bro. Well, that's why you got to move online. I'm working on it, bro. I feel. Working on it. Health isn't a priority here, and it also doesn't make you 
like in a big city like Atlanta or Miami, health makes you like it's cool, right? It's a fad. Right. It's a trend. Health isn't a trend here. No, for my own line, I mean, it's two fifty a month, and I hired the same mentor that you hired, so he has like the scale. I can't remember quite like exactly what it is, but it's like five or less clients is two fifty a month. Five to ten, it's three hundred a month. Ten to fifteen is three fifty. So as you get more clients, you up your price, right? I, I wouldn't. I don't listen to everything he teaches because no, no, at no. a certain point, it's. I, I found that it was a little like ridiculous. Yeah, no, some of it is like, bro. Like, I'm not gonna get up to the point where I'm charging. My prices, I raised them highest I've ever raised my prices to was four twenty five a month, and I was signing clients still, but I had a lot less applications because it's advertised on my website, and my thing is. He had this thing about like, oh, you'll attract higher quality clients with the higher price. But to a certain point, no, you're just going to attract richer clients. Right. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I and think richer clients can be a pain in the dick sometimes. One, because some of them don't like to do their shit and then they still expect results. And I don't mean this in a derogatory way, but they're used to getting what they want. Right. I'm not saying that for all people, but the, I've found that's the circumstance. So when I lowered my prices back down to a rate, because I charge 335 a month, right? So 335 is a rate where. Even if you're tw like, and I have some 20 year olds, I have some 20 year olds paying me $335 a month. You know what that tells me about that 20 year old? He's super fucking serious about his goals because it is possible to make it work if he you have a job and shit, shit like that. Right. But these kids don't miss a fucking beat. Like shout out Noah Tarkoon. He's going to love me for saying this. Noah Tarkoon, bro. This kid has grown. He's getting big as fuck. He didn't miss a beat when I was coaching him. He's about to hire me again for a mini cut, but we did a 12 week program and he kind of just stayed on the calories that we pushed to for like four weeks after it's been like four weeks since we stopped and again the kid was working two jobs to pay me for the 12-week program so like Fuck. i attract i attract wealthy clients in a sense of like adults that are willing to follow the stuff but at a certain like two cap of a price you just attract this like super like kind of wealthy clientele snobby and they don't really take it super seriously we just got cut off but it's okay <laughs> um we're back we're basically we're basically saying that moral of the story, um, if you have to if you have to spend X amount of money, like if you have if you have to make a commitment and make yourself uncomfortable to invest the money, you'll take it seriously. But if the money doesn't mean anything to you, like if you're already wealthy enough to just swipe, then you're not going to take the commitment seriously. Is, is that a good way of that's a putting good it? that's a good uh, good way to put it. But I'll I'll just say my example that I just said that we got cut off probably. If you have like. If something costs like twenty five hundred dollars and you only have three thousand dollars in your account, like you're gonna treat that item with more respect and like you're gonna be more careful with that item. As, whereas if you have three hundred thousand in your bank account, that item isn't gonna mean as much to you because it's the same thing with like gifts too. Like something that's just like given to you, whereas you like you didn't pay for it. Like let's say you buying it. Like let's say you get a car for free, or you like win a giveaway for a fucking car. Are you going to treat that car as good as you would treat it as if you bought it and, like, you had 30K in your account and used that whole 30K to buy a car? Right, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you right. fucking, you worked for that money, put it in a car, you're going to treat that fucking car good. And to piggyback off that, like, for instance, my first car, my first vehicle, of course, I didn't fucking buy it. My parents bought it, right? Treated it like absolute shit. You fucked that truck up. Right. Treated it like absolute That was shit. a nice truck, too. He had really, my really, truck. Really was really. nice. Six inch lift, bro. 2011. Very nice truck. Uh, long story shit short. Nasty as fuck. Long story short, uh, I blew it up. Trash in the back. Trash yeah. in the fucking... It was bad. That's and why I want to buy my own car when I buy one. Bro, I bought... But I bought my car out there now. I bought it. Bro, I get oil change regularly. I car wash once a week. I only put fucking premium in it, like... I vacuum bought, it once a week. I bought two of my cars now. My I car that just, Nissan. That's why I don't even want to tint my fucking car. Like I would have tinted it, but like I don't even want to tint it because it's fucking. I'm gonna get a new one soon. Like I said, hundred k in the bank account this year. I'm buying a fucking Tesla. You, you or, so, or something nice. You want a Tesla train, bro? I want something nice. I like Tesla. I think Teslas are like nice and quiet. You know get what I'm saying? Nice, and nice. Beamer, bro. Get what? Get a beamer. No, it's it's a lot terrible. of maintenance, bro. A lot That's of maintenance. It's fucking. You're gonna German. get a lot of maintenance on that Tesla too. They've been yeah. having a lot of problems lately, and it's a lot harder to get maintenance on those things. Well, the thing is, man, they don't make cars like they used to. They make cars nowadays to last three or four years, probably on purpose. 
back back in the day, bro, they made cars to last forever. That's why you see fucking grandpas driving around in their 1974 fucking Ford, and it still runs like a fucking champ. But the 2015 fucking Honda Accord your sister bought just broke down on the side of the road, and it's fucking three years old. Very true. Same thing with cell phones, bro. Why, why do you think every time a fucking new iPhone comes out, the previous one starts to fuck up? I have the 13 Pro. Well, the that's because of the software. They but but who do you think makes it like that? I, no, I'm <laughs> not, it's like they purposely make... Yes, they purposely do it. Now, when the updates happen, they make the software of the update too big for the data processor in the previous phone. Right. So that's why your phone starts to lag. But they do it on purpose. Yeah, don't no think shit. they don't. They want you to spend that money and buy that new iPhone. And the price keeps just keeps going up. I know that since the old days, bro, because I had a fucking iPhone 4 forever. I tried to hold on to that bitch forever. I did notice. The square one. My shit used to do this thing where I would have to, it would like almost like freeze and I would have to like fucking. Restart it. Like restart. turn my phone off and then go back on because like my touch screen wasn't working. But it doesn't do it anymore. But it was, it was probably when like that 13 came out, for example. Like, it's, Dude, that's my, some weird shit. My charger port only works like half the time. I have to have the um, wireless charger. That's fucked. Yeah. And, like, I've cleaned the charging port out. I've taken it to uh, AT&T. The guy there's cleaned it out. I've taken it to the fucking little kiosk thing at the mall. Let that guy clean it out. Nothing. Still the fucking same thing. It's fucked. Yeah. Fucking phones. You gonna do questions? We can run questions. Yeah, I'm cool with that. What do we get? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Who does? Fuck no. What's like a hot topic that will like a hot take? spark some like fucking fitness? Like no, like what's anything? a hot topic in anything right now that will spark a lot of views to this podcast? Anything trending on what's social going media? on in the world? Let's see. Any beef on social media? I mean, you guys don't watch football, but it's like primetime playoff football right now. Um, all right, someone asked about the chicken and rice drop. Probably in three weeks from like now because. Communications with my manufacturer. I'm trying to get like a, a different embroidering for the hoodies, so he hasn't started them yet. Um, if it doesn't come out good, we're just gonna do like the old one. I don't know how it's gonna come out, so I'm trying to get like a, a sample from him. But Mike, 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 Mike Oxel, yeah, 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 yeah. My manufacturer is Mike. Yeah. Been told the like, dude when he sent me the manufacturer to like reach out to me. He told him my name was Mike Oxlong. And the fucker is Pakistani. No, no, no. It was so funny, bro. I was like, because I was like, did my friend text you yet? Because, like, he's going to order from him, too. Did my friend text you that? He's like, no. I'm like, here's his name. I, I gave him his number. And then I was like, he's like, what's his name? And I said, I said, Mike Oxlong. And he, <laughs> he texted him. He goes, hello, sir. Mike Oxlong. <laughs> <laughs> I was geeking out. I said, "What's up, my boy?" And I couldn't, I couldn't fuck with him. I was like, "Bro, my name's actually not Mike Oxlong." I was like, and then I said, "Mike Oxlong equals my cock is long." I was like, "Say it fast." <laughs> <laughs> he, he started laughing. He said, he said "Oh, L O L." <laughs> no, because he's from Pakistan, yeah. so it's just like really funny. I don't know. <laughs> he probably read that. He's like, "These fucking white kids, bro." <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, he texts me. He's like. His, his name's is is not Mike Oxlong with the laughing face, and I was like, no, it's, not. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a Myra. <laughs> yeah, should have kept fucking with him. Like, no, oh, what's, what's the other we came up with? You came up with yesterday, Myla, Myla, Myla and Myra, the two twins. <laughs> my left nut and my right. Nut. If I have daughter twins, I'm naming them that 100. percent Myra, and Myra. Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Oh uh, yeah. So probably like. It's probably not going to be the end of this month anymore. I kept saying the end of this month, but it's probably going to be early February. Like I said, three weeks from now, which is it's January <laughs> January twenty second. So, Come on, man. Uh, cheat meal draft. I don't know about that one. Cheat meal draft. I don't. Yeah, know. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, y'all are gonna clown. Because all this motherfucker's gonna say is sushi. All I eat is sushi. I ain't got no cheat meals that I like to eat. We can, we can run it. We'll, we'll all I eat, is, all I eat is sushi. Now we'll run it. We'll run it. Fish wrapped in rice. All, all right, I eat bro. is sushi. All right, all right, all right. Like all I hear is my Johnson in your throat, bro. My Johnson's literally in your throat, bro. I can feel no, it. No, all I can hear is no, nah, bro. All I eat is sushi is not a cheat meal, bro. All right, well. 
All right. It doesn't count. If you draft no, that, we're doing fucking cheap, cheap meal draft. We each get three picks, though. Okay. Three picks each, not five, because it's three people. Um, I'm taking sushi for my number one spot. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. Fucking McDonald's, bro. John F for a double quarter pounder straight to your face. That's exactly what I fucking get. Motherfucker, so come good. on over here. But, come dude, over. I feel like that comes from... But like my childhood, that's the only thing we had in Georgetown, bro. We had that in Hardee's. We had Hardee's McDonald's breakfast Hardee's. shits on McDonald's. Breakfast. Oh, it does. Hardee's breakfast shits on every breakfast. Hardee's place. breakfast is the best breakfast out there, bro. Um, no cap. I haven't had this in a long ass time, but it was my favorite fast food when I was a fat shit and yeah. ate like shit. Taco Bell. Oh yeah, so good. People shit on so it's lovely, so good. So what? What is? What's your go to though? Like, what do you get? I would get the uh, the five dollar box. $5 it was box. like the, uh, I think you get like a fucking burrito, a taco, and like a fucking the churros. Right, right. I always get the twelve tacos yeah. and then two chicken quesadillas. Twelve tacos, bro. I could probably eat twelve tacos. They're, now. they're, they're really, dude. They're like this big, bro. My thing is, I was like ten when I was eating all this bullshit. Yeah. So like, I was not eating that much. Yeah, I, I could put down twelve Taco Bell tacos. Oh yeah, like nothing. probably yeah. yeah. And that, that Baja Blast. I was oh, on that. Baja Blast, bro. That was before, like, the, the zero sugar shit was even a thing. Yeah. By the way, you still have any of this? Yeah, I got three cases. How do you still have some? <laughs> I don't drink a lot of the caffeinated. I'll drink more, like, the root beers now because they have no uh, caffeine. No caffeine, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And I only drink them at, like, the end of the day because I'm in school all day and right, shit. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I don't have my, my monsters. On the monster wave. All right, all right, round two, round two. Well, you, you already got number two pick, bro. Shake Shack, bro. I've never had that. I've never had it. You've had it? <laughs> Where? Ohio. Oh. The Arnold. Yeah. Hands down. I'm not even fucking lying, bro. Looks good. Best burger I've had it in a long fucking time. You didn't time. get a chicken sandwich, bro? What the fuck? Hold on. You hold get on. a burger and a milkshake when you go to Shake hold Shack, hold on, hold on, my hold on. boy. Have you ever been to Cane's, though? Yeah, Raising Cane. I've never been there either. Is it good? Damn, yeah. Somebody said the fucking toast is even Bro, the, shit, the bread roll you yeah. get, my boy. <laughs> Some mm. people say that I have friends that's been there and they're like, I just go for the fuck. Their fucking toast. roll is good as fuck, yeah. bro. Oh my god. Zaxby's Canes. Where, where we're at. Why are you one? laughing at me? I'm fat, bro. Fuck you. Yeah, we're both fat. That's bro. what I'm saying. Y'all like sound excited. Motherfucker, I eat a pint. I am excited. I might drive to Mount Pleasant now and get some fucking raisin canes. Yeah. You never know. Right, like a pint of Ben and Jerry's like three times a week. So that's this your... motherfucker's still on his bulk, man. Fuck this guy. <laughs> his three cheat meals. No, he you get you still get a cheat meal a day. Three. Yeah. Fuck you. Three. Three a day. Yeah. No, three a week. He said three a day. <laughs> Bro, there was there was like a week where I was getting one, one or two weeks where I was getting. He put me on that too. Yeah, one day. I was getting oh, one a day, my boy. I was so so happy. fucking good, bro. Every day I'm I was talking... eating so good. Oh yeah. Are you eating good though? I don't know if that would be considered eating good. My boy, my fuck, I was happy as hell. That's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I, I like, uh, I definitely feel better on the mini cut. Oh yeah, like I feel feel. How's good. your strength? <sighs> Tanked. Yeah. Oh, well, I will say strength hasn't dropped, but rep progression is either the same or a rep less. Yeah. Every single well, you're week. obviously not going to get stronger. Like P- P- PR on deads was nine. I hit seven or eight every single week. I, I kept my shit for the most part. You okay, buddy? I'm also just more optimal, though. Yeah. I don't have cheat meals and shit, you know what I'm saying? That's probably why. Because he didn't he have the cheat meals no more. And you're natural. That helps, too. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would help. I think they'll make yeah. it worse on the mini cut. You I'm know what I'm saying? Such a low dose of test. So what was your what was your three? I've only picked one, McDonald's so far. Pick your second. Oh your second, second. That's what I mean. Okay. Um Fuck. Cause we just went on a fucking tangent about canes and shit. <laughs> Can we come back to me? You you guys draft your well, you, you Bro, draft you gotta go. Just say it. Fuck. Wendy's. I can fuck with Wendy's as well. Okay. All I right. do love me some Wendy's. Spicy chicken, bro. <sighs> the chicken nuggets be The spicy chicken oh. nuggets or the regular ones, bro? Okay, we got to stop talking about this. Uh, I'm getting hungry as fuck. Uh, frosty. Let's go. Uh, I don't even know. Let's just run it with number three. I'm going chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip boogies, boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yeah. No, them shits is dang as hell. That's what I'm saying. Uh, 
Is that even like a cheat meal? It's like a snack. It's like yeah, a it's, a cheat, it's like seventy cheat. seventy calories in one of them. Shit. Um, damn, bro. It's got to be like a good one though. Like I'm some gonna of just them have are ra- Raisin canes, bro. Raisin canes. canes. You like canes? I'm gonna go with my third one. I'm gonna go with a like a really. It's got to be good. Filet and red potatoes, bro. Yeah. And you talking about sushi not being a cheat meal? That's what I'm saying. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. yeah. Sushi's my not boy. a cheat meal. A filet, a filet and red potatoes ain't no fucking cheat meal. Okay, you my boy. That could not, be on my it, meal plan. It's not on the meal plan. No. A filet leaner than like this fucking ground beef. Yeah, the fucking the red chicken, bro. Still good. This man tripping. Filet and potatoes. Bro. You just ain't know what to say. I really didn't. Is that a, Cracker I, Barrel? Only Mexican eat. food. Fucking Chipotle. You just had Chipotle. Fucking Chipotle's not a cheat meal either. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it is, bro. There's so much sodium. The in Sodium, that that's it. And butter. What about hibachi? Uh, I should have said hibachi is good as fuck. Yeah, it's kind of like sushi. Though. Miyabi. Yabi. What is it now? Hatachia. Ha- yeah, hatachia. They changed the miyabi to hatachia. Yeah, I'll give you a hatachia. Ow, I'll give you. A- <laughs> You had to pause on that one Uh, How's your GMB? Uh, Official statement is being made Uh, I realized that I've had GMB for this time that I've had it Because um, I never really tried to You know, get females I was just busy on my craft Making you guys content and shit That I never really tried And then I realized that once I tried um, I don't have GMB Because I've been trying And then uh, Hey Buster you, you'll learn. If you want to cure your GMB, you just got to try to actually cure it. I do. Girls, most of the time, aren't going to hit you up first, bro. So if there's a girl that you want, you just hit them up. Dude, what are you doing? I'm going to quote the great Dan Bilzerian here. Just talk to him. Because if, talk talk to to, if you talk to him, and don't talk to him, like, in a really, like, appro- like invading, like, a, oh, I'm trying to, like, take you out of work. Just talk to chicks, bro. The more, the more chicks you talk to, bro, the more comfortable you get with it, the more chicks you'll find want to hang out with you, and then things will go from there. And even if the chick you talk to ain't cute, she got cute friends, 100%. They always do. Be nice to girls, bro. Be nice to everybody. Just talk to girls. 100%. Talk, talk, just talk to girls. So yeah, Converse. That's, that's the official statement. I don't think I could say that I have GMB anymore because i just been trying to cure it, and I think it's 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 going well. Nice. I don't know. Solid. I don't know. Well, we're trying. You know what I'm saying? When but uh is there a soon to be Miss Chicken and Rice? No. <laughs> Not until I'm like <laughs> out of out of school, fucking a millionaire. Successful. And I'm fucking and I got shorty on me. But I need I need to get my my shit right. Get your money up, I get your money up. I gotta get my money up, I gotta get my, my socials up, and I gotta get my mind up. The mind is the most important. Hundred percent. You get your mind up, you get your money up. You get your mind up. Get your mind up, up, you get your body up. Everything up. Get everything up. Everything. And your dick. Even the dick. (laughs) Even the dick. (laughs) That made me laugh. That's a fucking clip. (laughs) That is a fucking clip. (laughs) Oh Oh. fuck. That's good. I don't even know if I have any good questions, bro. There was like only like not a lot. The cheap meal draft was a good one though. Uh, I'm staying uh, in Myrtle Beach for a year. Oh, we gotta talk about that. Did you end up buying it yet, or what? Are you so looking? I filled out my lender application. Well, I'm gonna buy a house here. Where at? Do you on uh, on 31? They're building all those fucking houses. Yeah, I'm you see that? For relati- I want to look for relatively new ones because then I know I won't have to replace. Did you see that? Ones. What I'm talking about though. There's it's the like kind of in Carolina Forest area. I don't know if I want to be in Carolina Forest. I'm thinking either you don't. this area. It's, it's not really in it, though. It's like on 31. I'm thinking this area or like by a pump house. Kevin's area or by a pump house. Just because this area, one thing I know about this area, if it's near Market Common, you got a house and it's near the beach, the property value is only going to appreciate because mm-hmm. this place is getting packed, right? Right. So Same that means Forest. in 10 to 20 years, whatever property I have is going to be worth a lot more than what I purchased it for. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my thing is, you your work is pump house, right? Yeah. So the closer you are to that, it's like easier, easier. for my life. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. 100%. Yeah, absolutely. 
<laughs> at least for now. And then we fucking... Yeah, no, 100%. Florida. Florida might be the spot, bro. I'm telling you, Florida. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Santa Cruz just hit me up. Tampa, bro. Santa Cruz hit me up. He's like, yo, I'm going to fly out and we're going to get a lift in. You down? I was like, hell yeah, I'm fucking down. Fuck yeah. So I was like, I was in the summer, bro, because I'm in class right now. Right. Gabe's coming. Gabe's coming like this week. 26th to the 29th. We're late. We fucking late. I didn't realize it was this soon, bro. I feel like January went by so fucking fast. What is, yeah, like it's it almost over. Week. Fuck, that is this week. Um, it's this weekend, I think. That's Thursday. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's absurd. He, dude, I th- he, he rented a Lambo, he said. A Lambo? Uh, oh, he got the bread, guys. Yeah, we gonna we gonna be taking a ride in the whip. Oh, he lit. He's funny. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, bro. He's funny Unless he's that. joshing me, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's what he said. He said, bro, I'm trying to rent a Lambo. He said he's trying to. Did he actually do it? I mean, it dude, if he said I got my rental, I got my Airbnb and the plane ticket. So I'm just curious <sighs> to what rental he got. Oh, shit. Where the fuck would you do that around here? I don't, I don't know, bro, but that would be so, That's so, be so funny. Does anybody though. rent Lambos? In if he pulls out the pump house in a Lambo, I'm going to laugh my ass off. I would literally just go to Iron Legacy just to shit on all the fucking <laughs> fuckers there that drive the fake cars. The salvage cars? Bro, yeah. Dude. Oh, well, my thing is, if anything fucking happens to it, it's a rental, so it's not even like it's yours. So fuck it, right? Oh, but no, but that, <laughs> that's, yeah. a fuck, that's a fuck yeah, thought fuck, process. Fuck it, but uh, you, that's you're gonna a, be paying. Yeah, that bill is gonna be fat. <laughs> you always get insurance. For real? Yeah, you always yeah. get insurance on a rental car, bro. Get pay for the insurance, bro. Oh yeah. Because if somebody runs into that bitch, it's well, on you. I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Aren't you? Don't you get already insured if you have car insurance? They ask in general? you. Do you want to pay for the ins- like to protect it and insure the car? Do you want to pay for this? They ask you. Your answer should be. Well, my thing is, you never see Meet the Fockers. No, but I think there's insurances that like you get rentals insurance, right? For like cars, you have to purchase it with separately. Yeah, with the rental car. You don't just have renters insurance because you don't always have a rental car, right? You get it as you get the rental Mm -hmm. cars. I don't fucking know. Like in this movie, Meet the Fockers, he's like taking his wife to meet his parents in laws or whatever, and they're in the airport, and he's like, "Do you want the rental insurance?" And he's like, "No, no, no." And he looks at wife, and he's like, "It's always a scam." And then, like, the next, like, couple scenes is, like, father-in-law is like, throw a brick in my RV window. He's like, it's military-grade bulletproof glass. You won't do a thing to it. He goes, throw the fucking brick at it. And he throws the brick at it. Shit bounces off and hits the rental car, cracks the windshield. Father-in-law goes, oh, it's all good. The rental insurance will pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. Yeah, pay for the insurance, bro. That's you never know that. when something's going to happen. You just never fucking know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What if you fucking crack the windshield if you're in a state where windshields aren't free? South Carolina, fun fact. Windshields are free in South Carolina. One a year. One a year. Yeah. So if you get your windshield cracked, you can call Safe Light and get a free windshield. All you have to pay is... There's a a crack in my... Or not like a crack. There's a little, like, fucking hole. Yeah. You can get a new windshield for free. It's a safety hazard, bro. Yeah. They're, it's so in the state of South Carolina, they're free one a year. If you're in a state where windshields aren't free, you're fucked if you get a cracked windshield driving down a highway or something. Well, then you just got to pay for it, right? It yeah, you might check, as well. Bro. Yeah, you might as well. R- the rental company is going to tax you on top of what it costs to fix the car. So you might as well just pay for the insurance. Yeah. You know for what I'm sure. saying? Yeah. Just word of advice well, for they, life. They're going to make a profit off you, bro. We got the Lambo. Yeah, fuck yeah. If I loan you something and you break it, you're paying me. Yeah, I'm making a profit. For the trouble of breaking my shit. And, and to repair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> for the inconvenience and for the problem. Yeah, no shit. It's fucked. It's fucked up. You think? I don't fucking know. I don't I don't rent cars, bro. I got the, the Tesla truck. You can't. I already got a Tesla truck, bro. You can't rent no car. Oh. The Tesla truck is all I need, mm. bro. You got renter's history? Renner's history. What's that? Um, do you have to cut slash bulk to see results? We could talk about that. Cut Does like a cut duck bulk. with a boner drag weeds, bro. Not if it's swimming. You interrupted me. All right. Does let's compare the bulk cut approach to bodybuilding compared to uh main gaining. It's a good one. Well, this is super loaded. Well, like, let's compare. I mean, and Dep- let's, depends let's go on for a... No, let's depends go for on your a, start point, all right, right? No, 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 no. Body, like, bodybuilding context. You take the same person, you have them bulk and cut. Where's their... What are they looking like? It all depends on what they're like. Dude, where did they start at? Because if you're skinny fat... Say you're and me. You're try, if you're skinny let's fat... Let's say you're me. Right now. 
You need to bulk. All right. You should be eating more than you're eating now. Yeah. Again, my post is like, you need to be willing to get uncomfortable to grow, really. Which means like even getting a little bit past what body fat percentage you're comfortable with sitting at. Which means eating your last meal over the kitchen sink because you're afraid you're going to fucking blow chunks everywhere. Yep. So the... If you want to, if you know you're going to bodybuild, like I'm trying to compete and I want this to be my life, you need to take that shit seriously. It's your fucking job, bro. So I you better, yeah, I so do. Better. Eating no, is I'm your not job. saying that. I'm saying like for anybody watching, bulk. Get fucking big, bro. Bro. If you look like you already, right? In that context. Yeah. If you're skinny fat, I don't want you to go fucking. Obviously. Well, that's why I said there's context to it at all, right? Because also with social media. A lot of people say that they're bodybuilding when really they just need to be setting a foundation, which isn't bodybuilding yet, right? Yeah. That's just setting a foundation. They need to be exercising. So it depends on where you're starting from. But if somebody's watching this and they look like Ben or they're relatively lean and, like, they're smaller, right, skinny with abs, get fucking big, bro. Yeah. Bulk. Put on size. Don't do a show and if you already know you're going to do this. Like, do a show, I guess, to figure out if you love it. But after that, bro, like, put on some size. Like, Tyler, again, he said he's not going to compete until he is 250 pounds. Which That's is crazy. A, which is a good approach, though, because he's also a very tall kid, right? So, like, having that mindset about it of, like, I'm not going to do this. By the time I compete, bro, I'll have put two and a half years into my next show. That's a, a lot of people can't even fathom working towards a goal for two and a half years. Fucking two and a half days, motherfucking less. Much less two and a half years. So I've been bulking basically a whole two and a half years. Now the first, the reason it's taken so long too is because the first year and a half I learned from messing up is like I wanted to not get fat. That's how I was. So I didn't grow very much. I grew, put on a little bit of tissue, but not as much as I could have. I think when people hear bulk, they think like, ooh. Fast food. Let me let me go on a thousand calorie surplus. How beneficial is going to be a 1,000-calorie surplus compared to, like, a 300-calorie surplus? You have to slowly introduce this food. So I built up to, again, I was at, like, 4,006, 4,007. With cheat meals probably approaching a very lay down, Buster. Buster, lay down. Lay down, bud. Probably approaching, like, 49 with some of the cheat meals, right? So it's, like... My maintenance is I'm obviously like oh probably like eleven hundred twelve hundred over at some point. See, like that's where but it's that's not where like we I fucking that's oh, where we yeah. fucking disagree because you say you say your maintenance is like not changeable where it's like it stays in one spot around. Like, well, it probably it like? is changeable, but at some point, bro, like I'm just I'm pushing I'm pushing an obese amount of food. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like I think if I push my mm-hmm. calories from two thousand. Where my weight isn't moving slowly up to like three thousand, and I eventually stall out, and my weight plateaus. In my opinion, I think that's your new maintenance. like maintenance calories. Yes. See, he, yeah, he agrees no. with me. Well, no, I'm I'm not saying your maintenance can't change, but I'm saying at some point, I'm like, I'm. It's not like my maintenance was four thousand calories. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm. Th- I know. I get what you're saying because, like, like your maintenance, you know what I'm saying. My maintenance is probably like you thirty, don't, like thirty two hundred, thirty because your body doesn't yeah. want to eat that much. But when it yeah. eats that much and your weight gets to that point, it's like your body is eating those calories and it's also burning that many calories. So that's your new maintenance because you're so much like heavier now. Yeah. So I mean, and you have more. Uh, so about I stalled out around like two seventeen, two eighteen. I was two eighteen. For the last two weeks, two to three weeks consistently, and he was like, all right, body fat, super, like, not super high, like, I'm not fat, but I was fat, right? Like, for bodybuilding context, I was fat, right? So he's like, body fat's getting high, plus we're stalling out a bit, So, but it's not like my maintenance was 4,700 calories, right? You said it stalled out for three to four weeks? Yeah. I mean, I think it would be considered maintenance at that point, but like I said, like, like you, what you were just saying, like, that's not your maintenance, like... That's not where you want to chill at. Like you're probably very uncomfortable oh, in that fucking situation. This is what I'm yeah. saying. So like if you if you fucking ate to satiation for weeks on end and did your normal like training and shit, I think your body would would find its its maintenance, like its true maintenance maintenance based on like appetite and shit, like low key or no. In terms of like because your body fat would then go down to like a, a de- healthy all depends, or like a all depends, bro. Because some people literally eat so little. That if they eat till they're satiated, they're still in such a fucked place, bro. Yeah. 
Like I have clients who have eaten like have, are eating like 800 calories a day. And then when I get them on a maintenance of 1600 calories, they're like, dude, I feel like I'm going to burst. I'm like, dude, you're only eating 1600 calories. No. So not true. like, yeah, so again, it's like the it's satiation really- thing. Your the satiation is bo- basically to your stomach. Your stomach has made a gastric rugae. So folds, it's literally just folds of skin. So it's meant to stretch as you eat. So if you eat less, like a fuckload, if you skip meals and you only eat like once a day, Shut end on end on end, years on years on years, your stomach is not stretched in years. You haven't exercised that part of your body. So you get satiated super quick. So my thing is, like, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, the maintenance thing is, like, if you're not gaining weight and you're not gaining body fat and your body fat is staying the same and you're, everything is, like, controlled. That's also your body probably thing. rejecting food at that point, too. What do you mean by that? Like, dude, your body can only, I can only raise calories so much, like, to the point where my body just gets fed up. It's stress, right? Once I get to a certain point, because just it's providing a lot of stress, blood pressure is high, I can't fucking breathe when I'm walking, sleep is hard, right? I'm sweating. Yeah. So I feel like it's more of a stress factor thing, because when your central nervous system gets fucking stressed out, it's hard to progress. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not like your maintenance is that. I'm saying your maintenance does get higher, because again, as you put on muscle, active tissue, your maintenance gets higher. We talked about this too. Yeah, but like... It's not like my maintenance was 4,700 calories, right? My maintenance was probably around like 3,200 calories. I'm still in a pretty large deficit just pushing that because each week I would gain like two pounds. I'd, I went like consistently once I hit 200, it was like 202, 204, 206, 208, 210, 212, like every week. I was like, fuck yeah. But every week he was pushing food too, more after that, like a little bit. So And you were cruising at the time too, right? That Bro, sucks. this next shit, when I'm on the blast, I'm going to get fucking nutty. I'm about to get huge. And the good thing is you won't have to eat as much food. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to tell him just to hurt me. I just want to get huge. Give it make me. me. Make me uncomfortable. Stick it in me. I read a quote from from Matt Jansen. <laughs> like, he posted it the other day, and I really needed to go read, read it. Read it? No, just a quote he put up a long time ago. You're one... Good off season away. away from hitting your goals if you fucking want it. One. I'm one fucking bulk, one good push away from being able to compete at a really good place. At a nice if place. I fucking want it. Yes, sir. But Everybody this is. but this next bulk has to be like like this last time I gotta get it out of my head. I'm so fucking hunger full. Like the next time, once I, like, I get saying it every now and then, like, when I'm eating, but if I'm, like, bitching, sometimes y'all just need to look at me and be like, dude, shut the fuck up. I'm going to show you that C.T. Fletcher clip. Yeah, like, dude, Brendan just shut up and day. eat the food, bro. Like, dude, shut up. Shut the fuck I make up. It harder on my, I make it harder on myself, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it's a mindset thing. Like, I just, again, but, oh, I downloaded this cool motivational app. It'll, like, I'm going to set it on my home screen. It'll set something on your home screen. Like, my buddy showed it to me. So, it's, like. Like one hour a day, it'll put a little quote on your thing. Like he sent it to me and the cool one he put on his, it was like, if you keep going and never give up, you'll get it soon. Right? So just shit like that, bro. You know what I mean? Like I just need to be better about telling myself that. You love that motivational shit. Fires me up, bro. Yeah. I don't know why. Dude, that's like, uh, it's something about the power of words, bro. Like just hearing that. I don't know, dude. But I'm also really like, that shit fires me up. I feel. Like, yeah, I wish, man. I don't know. I wish, like, it was. Do you guys get goosebumps listening to, like, motivational shit? And, and Bro, like, I listen to David Goggins, and I'm like, dude, I am giving up everything, and I'm going to go fucking be a I, fucking I Navy too. SEAL. I I'm like, I'm going to, who's going to fucking carry the boats, motherfucker? You don't know me, son. Yeah, no, I, I listen to that shit, and I get really rowdy. It's bad. No, but apparently I was I was there was a podcast Joe Rogan was had a speaker on his and they were talking about this and if you get goosebumps listening to words or listening to music listening to motivational stuff only about seven percent of the people in the world do that. I'm not big on that. I uh, I've been watching uh, Jordan Peterson. Oh, dude! But that's like more like informational. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that book he's is really, amazing. I'm really, reading it right now. He's really good. His been his YouTube videos have been popping up with my shit and I'll watch them when I eat. It's like, it's, a, but it's more. It's not like motivational. It's more like 
like informational. Yeah, no. What but is he? You got to have that, all of that shit. That's why I read. I'm reading his book. That's twelve. That's the twelve rules of life. Like the first rule was stand up straight and roll your shoulders back. So it's basically like a mental thing too. Like be confident in yourself and your posture. Hold your head high, right? But also like. When you're fucking talking to people, bro, like it's genuinely proven. Like if you, have you heard Tony Robbins talk about the Superman stance? Have you seen those videos? Where it's like, if you put your hands up on your hips and literally poke your chest out and take deep breaths, bro, I literally feel better just doing it. Like change your posture. You'll literally feel be immediately more energetic, better. So it's like just 12 rules for life. Simple things to make your life better, make you more presentable, make you more efficient of a person. Yeah. Well, I've been watching his YouTube videos. Just, I fuck with it. He's a, they're trying to ban him, the board of psychologists. They're basically trying to cancel him. Guess why? Because. Because he's fucking trying to help men with their Because he tells the fucking, fucking truth. <laughs> they don't want that. Well, also, they, well, he's had like two or three complaints about some of the things he said out of like the millions of people that contribute to the psychological or psychiatric community. And they're saying that these claims are valid enough to ban his license. That motherfucker is the smartest man probably I've ever listened to. He articulates himself well. He makes me think about the way that I speak, the way that I think, the way that I fuck it. You know what I mean? I listen to him and I'm like, damn. Well, that's what I'm I saying. I got a lot to work on. The system doesn't fucking like that. It's the same thing with Tate. It's the same fucking thing. They want to cancel anybody that fucking Speaks the truth. tells men to fucking think for themselves. And they don't fucking want men to do that. Because then if all men think for themselves. Then we going to end up in jail if we get popped off, bro. It's fucked. Yeah. Fuck him. It's fucked, bro. Yeah. Fuck him. Like, it's actually fucked. Like, it, long run, I'd be down to move to, like, Dubai, motherfucker. Mexico. Like, Me out of the yeah. fucking country, bro. <laughs> if I can get the fuck out of the United like, I'd be lit. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give a fuck. I, that's the thing. If I can work from anywhere, I can work from anywhere. You got to go, where I'm at. go somewhere where the income tax is very low. Yeah. So that all the money we make doesn't get taxed. Yeah. That's where we need to go. I even heard Romania, dude. I even heard some shit like, like Nike and like all like the. I think Tate said this shit, but it's like Nike and all those big ass brands. They do their taxes in like other countries yeah. where no they shit. don't have to get fucking like tax. Oh, they, and shit. Big time you know how many like one that? of our there's so many companies that do that. That's what I'm saying. And our have foreign fucked. banks. So like, yeah, bro, it's it's wild. Man. The the downfall of our country, and again, this is probably gonna spark some heat because it's political, but. Me and my dad have talked about this a long time. The downfall of our country is lobbying. The fact that large companies can fund politicians in their campaigns sparks all of what's fucking happening. It's big business. Big business runs our government. And if you think that is false, you're fucking dumb. I'm sorry. You're fucking dumb. Like, your, your favorite politician, even my favorite politician, he's funded by someone. So he's still got to do some things that he doesn't agree with because if not, he loses that funding. And if he loses that funding, no campaign, no votes, no fucking commercials on TV about how great you are. None of that shit. It's the same thing with fucking Logan Paul, bitch ass. Yeah, bro. So the, gov <laughs> the government literally funds, every, they're, they're funded by companies and the government funds and controls things. So the companies control everything. We're I would say Big Pharma is one of the biggest ones. We're going to get canceled. No, well, yeah, 100%. <laughs> well, just like things like this, we should talk about more because this is the type of shit that sparks a lot of views. It's controversial as fuck, oh, right? Yeah, absolutely. I don't even care about Let me ask you this. Views. What are you going to do one day when the bank stops responding? What are you going to do then? I just don't want people to fucking... People just been following the traditional fucking path, and I just don't want people to fucking do that. Just not even your, traditional. Traditional would be the Matrix. No, the traditional Matrix. would be <laughs> traditional would be fucking the Bible, bro. You know what I mean? Like believing and thinking for yourself and things like that. We're well, I'm, I'm not, we're falling into the bullshit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you get what I'm saying. The fucking the, the Matrix nine to, nine to five. Yeah, the Matrix, bro. Escape the, the Matrix. Have you looked up a men on TikTok? Look up men. No, I'm sorry, that's never been in my search. No, search bar. no, no. Like, this is, am I being like a fucking? I joke? know. I'm just, I'm just being funny. Look but up yeah, men no. on TikTok. Men. Okay. Anything? I don't know. What, nothing comes up. Did they delete it now? What? No. Nah. All right. Well, you used to be able to look up men in TikTok. 
and it would be like men's mental health is a is a myth. Men's like it just shit like terrible fucking shit. And it's like that's what they push. That's what they fucking push. They don't want us to be fucking like think for yeah, ourselves. We're a man. Like we're supposed to. We're supposed to suck it up and carry on. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what we're fuck. supposed to do. They don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about them fuckers. They tried to silence me when I was young by putting me in jail. They ain't succeeded with that shit. They tried to kill me by getting me on drugs. No, I'm kidding. None of that. Fuck them. None of that. They ain't gonna fucking get me down. Uh, stronger Motherfucker <laughs> Open the new one <laughs> Open the new one Open the new one Yo If you made it This far in the pod Comment open the door Open the new one Open the new one He goes He goes Open the new one Open the new one Let me in Open, open the new one <laughs> That's fucked up Bro, I saw a funny ass one the other day. He's like, dude, like eight year old knocks on a door, bro. He's like, standing there. He's like, my friends bet me. He's like, he ain't really gonna like what I'm gonna ask you. It's like some dude's wife that answers the door. She's like, just go ahead and ask me. He goes, man, I mean, they bet me. Like, seriously, don't be mad. He's like, I mean, I'm just being real, just trying to tell you because they bet me. Like, can I touch your tit? They bet me five dollars. <laughs> Dude, I geeked the- out, bro. She said, no, no. He goes, Ooh. I was some little kid on TikTok. I was geeking out. It's like a ring camera recording. He goes, I right, bet. That's what I figured. And walks away. <laughs> I <right>, bet. <laughs> yeah, have you seen the- <laughs> I was geeking, bro. I said, little dude, a menace, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> he got some balls. He was so nervous. He's like swaying, wiping his hands. I, I mean, my friend, just because they bet me. I don't think you're gonna like what I, what they asked me to to ask you. Like, <laughs> can I touch your tit? <laughs> this is fucking funny. Holy shit, bro! If you ever stumble across this podcast, little kid, you're a G, bro. You're a G. That is funny. Oh shit, that's great. Those ring cameras are always so funny. Have you seen the one where it's New Year's and the guy runs over? And he's got a timer on his phone. He's like, it's almost here. And it's the countdown to New Year's. And it finally hits him. And he's like, I haven't showered since 2020. And runs back to his house. <laughs> Holy <sighs> fuck. What's good, bro? All right, boys. We done? We got uh, to press the button. We got a shot, though. Comment, uh, open the door. All right, boys. It's been your boys. Weezy out of here. Chicken Rice Potter, code chicken to the fucking moon, code optimal. Peace.